everyone, it's Kidu, and in this video I'm going to be doing a sort of unboxing of the Togenonochi Lost Blood Special Edition. Um, this is for the English release that we have here in North America from Togenonochi, the Japanese game by Nitro Plus Chirel. It is a 18 plus BL visual novel, so if you ain't into that, maybe don't watch this video. Uh, it did come with the Token and Ochi Lost Blood illustrations, so I have multiple art books of this, which I do have flip-throughs of, so I will link those in the description below, so if you are interested in seeing more art from the series, you can do that. This was just, I already took this out of its package because I could hear that the disc was loose inside the case and I wanted to make sure it's, it was okay. Long story short, it's not. But we'll talk about that later. Um, I did just contact them about it, so we'll see what the response is. I'm not sure. But it was just shrink-wrapped together like this, so there was no special box or anything. But this is what it comes with. And then, of course, this is in its plastic, but I already took it out. So that's the front. This is the back here. And I will show you what's inside. I already took my steam key out, so it does come with a steam key as well. But yeah, that is that is gone. I put that away because you guys don't get to see that. Uh, it comes with a little starter guide thing. It just tells you how to start it up. I got two of them for some odd reason. Don't know if I was supposed to get two, if I was supposed to get one in a different language or something. I'm, I'm not positive, but there's two of them. We have the soundtrack here because it did come with the soundtrack. I'm not sure if it's the entire soundtrack. It might be. It does come with 24 tracks. That's pretty cool. Um, most of the time I notice when you get a soundtrack from an, a Japanese game and it is English uh, translated, it seems that it ends up uh, missing some of the tracks all the time, but this might actually be the full soundtrack. And this disc looks good. Unfortunately, I do notice there is a little nick here, which you can see through the CD. So I really hope that doesn't affect anything. Um, I might also ask them about that. Just because I know that if Blu-rays have, like, the top cut off, the laser reads through it and then the disc will skip or not read properly. So I'm really hoping that that's not the case. And here we have the game. So as I said, the game was unfortunately loose in the case when I received it. So it is very scratched up on the back because of the sh being shipped all the way out here. This is what it looks like. I did contact them and send them a picture. Um, I just, just sent it before I started this video. So we will see how they respond. I am not quite positive. But yeah, that happened, unfortunately. That most likely will not happen to you. I just tend to have bad luck. And sometimes discs do come out of cases. And CDs are very easy to scratch. If it was a Blu-ray, the Blu-ray probably would have been fine. But because it is a regular uh, DVD, it, yeah, it's just not a good time. So that is the game itself. And now we will flip through the illustration book. I'm a little sad that they didn't do the premium editions, or they're not going to do premium, edi premium editions for the rest of the Nature Plus Trial games, as they did for Sweet Pool. I was super excited for Sweet Pools. Um, well, Sweet Pool isn't my favorite game out of their out of their selection of games. So I was like, I still wanted to buy it to support them, but unfortunately, they're not making them for the other ones which was exactly what I didn't want to happen because I wanted specifically the premium editions for this one, Dramatical Murder and uh, Lamento, which is my favorite. And unfortunately, they're not making any more, or at least they don't have plans to, which is really sad because I wanted the collection of all of them. Anyways, enough ranting. But yeah, that's a thing. They're not going to do that. And it came with a bigger art book, so a little sad. But I do have the art books for the other games anyways that I just own personally like the ones released in Japan so it's not too much of a loss but I wanted the acrylic standees and the buttons and like the t-shirt and stuff so I'm a little sad about that but here is the book it's not really spoilery most of them are just promo promotional art but I don't know if you want that to be a surprise or something but most of this art is not in the game so you might as well continue watching My two favorite characters were actually Rin here and Motomi, who is 
our old dad man over there. Love him. I love him so much. <laughs> but yeah, so those are my two favorite characters. He stresses me out. <laughs> KSK stresses me out too, but like, he's a good boy, but also, you know, things happen. <laughs> But like, look at this old man. I love him and his stupid stubble and his homeless man looking hair and he's hot. Leave me alone. This artist is actually the same artist who did the art for um, Fire Emblem Three Houses. So if that is news to you guys, that is a thing. She also does the art for um, Lamento Beyond the Void, which is another game from Nature Plus Chirao. And she also does the art for that one anime about all those guys who sing Prince... Prince... Sama? Something? No? We don't know Prince? We don't know Prince Sama? We don't know... We don't know... Something? <laughs> that one? I think it's Udono Prince Sama, something like that. But yeah, so she does art for that too, which is crazy. Although, of course, this is quite a bit older. I think this is a 2005 or a 2006 game originally. And I have played the whole thing um, because there was an English patch for it. So I have done that already. But yeah, so she does, she does a lot of art. And she also does the Japanese covers for the captive prince series which i've talked about a little bit on my channel before it's my favorite book series ever yeah okay but uh i love her it's good time it's good time mm, that's the original um original soundtrack cover. I actually own that original soundtrack. <laughs> and then we have some of the character sketches here. We have their little headshots with different expressions. These two are my favorite. We've got little Rin and Motomi. I love them. Shiki's a crazy bastard. Keisuke's really cute, but he, but you know, he has some issues. <laughs> No, no, I actually quite enjoyed him too, but like, it was questionable. <laughs> and then here are little chibis of everyone. And then we just have this little piece here, and that is it. Unfortunately, the book is a tiny bit damaged as well. It's got some scratches here, and the top is bent a little bit here, unfortunately. But as I said before, I have, oh my god, fingerprints all over it. I have most of this art in larger art books anyway, so it's not too big of a deal to me. But yeah, this is what the limited edition of Tugene no Chi Lost Blood, the North American release, came with. Um, Jazz Blue, if you're watching this, please, please release premium editions of Dramatical Murder and Lamento Beyond the Void. Specifically Lamento, please. For me. <laughs> Please. Anyways, enough of my pleading. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I will put um, some of the flip throughs for the art books for Tokendo no Chi in the description below. I also have a lot of flip throughs of other art books from the other Nature Plus games. I'm not going to link those, but I do have a playlist on my channel that has all of my flip throughs in it if you're interested in that. I will link the unboxing to the Sweet Pool Premium Edition so you can watch that if you so please. I will also link my affiliate links in the description below. Thank you so much. If you buy anything with those links, I get a small commission. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, and I will link my social media as well. So you can take a look at all that if you would like. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye!